Hi, this is Mr. Burns, and today we're going to be talking about Brazil's history, and we're going to look at the early part of the 20th century and how that country was governed. Before we do that, how about let's take a look at some vocabulary. We got this word overthrew. Uh, we got this word dictator. It's probably important to know what that is. We got this word wages, and we have this word abolished. All right, so starting with overthrew. Overthrew in this context is, it's an illegal action where the government is overthrown. You know, the party that's out of power overthrows the party that's in power. This is not done through an election, it's done through violence. All right, a dictator then is a leader like Getulio Vargas. A dictator is one person or a small group of people that hold all the power in a country. Uh, probably the most famous dictator in history is someone like Adolf Hitler or Joseph Stalin. Next we got wages. Wages, that's, that's money I make. And usually um, a common person is paid by the hour. And then the last word that we have there is abolished. Abolished means to get rid of. All right, so Brazil in the 20th century has had a history of dictators, military rulers, and presidents. So there's been a lot of instability with Brazil's government. The first dictator then is this man that we see a picture of, Getulio Vargas. And Vargas overthrew an unpopular president. He seized power in 1930, and he's going to hang on to power until 1945. Now this is an interesting period of time because in 1929 the stock market collapsed in the United States there were problems in the European stock markets as well and by 1930 1931 a great depression had swept across the world so trade is going way down manufacturing is going way down Buying and selling of goods is going way down. People are losing their jobs. It was a very brutal time. And so that's when Vargas sweeps into power. Now, dictators want to make sure they stay in power. So two things that Vargas did to protect himself and the people around him was that uh, he abolished the legislature. So there isn't a, a, another body in Brazil's government that can challenge him for power or authority. But then to make the people happy, he makes the work week shorter and he also raised the wages of the people. So maybe that's why he was able to stay in power from 1930 to 1945. I'm going to pause the video here and we're going to move on to the next slide. Okay, let's go over just a few more things about the rule of Getulio Vargas. And I think one of the first things we want to do here is highlight some more vocabulary. So here is that word abolished again. Let's kind of underline that. Let's also underline political parties. And let's take a look at labor unions. And the last word I think we want to look at on this slide is the military. All right, so what do all these things mean? Well, abolished again means to get rid of something. And Vargas had ab abolished the legislature, and that was after he had overthrown an unpopular president. Uh, political parties, it says he abolished them. So that's a really important thing. Political parties are groups of like-minded people. They share the same ideas about how the government should work. And so they band together to get people elected to elected office. Elected office are things like mayors, city council persons, governors, representatives, senators, and even the president. Okay, Labor unions then, these are something that are allowed and they let working people group together to negotiate with the owners or the managers of business. And what labor unions try to do is get more money for their uh, work employee their workers and they also try to get safer working conditions and they try to make sure that an employer can't unfire can't fire a worker just because they don't like them 
and then the last word on this slide is the military and what the military is is the army navy air force marines the people that are responsible for protecting a country all right so what we have here is that Getulio Vargas he seizes power and he's going to be in power for a long time that's going to go from 1930 to 1945 15 years and incidentally this is the time of the Great Depression and World War II you have those things going on in world history uh, Vargas then tries to keep himself in power by getting rid of political parties and abolishing the legislature and he does some things to try to keep the people on his side and on this slide it tells about allowing you know the people who work for factories and big companies to form labor unions and these labor unions are going to allow them to negotiate better uh, working conditions it's going to get them uh, from being fired unfairly and sometimes when they negotiate they even end up with better pay now toward the end of World War II the military had kind of had enough of Getulio Vargas and he was removed from power interestingly enough about five years later he's going to be elected president and he's going to serve another term starting in 1950 all right we're going to pause there and I'm going to move to the next slide okay so here we go um, what do we have happening here so this is after Vargas is overthrown there's a lot of foreign investment so let's underline some vocabulary words here investment corporations natural resources and I think we also want to underline this word instability Okay, so investment is, you know, investing money in infrastructure and in factories to manufacture things. So after World War II, uh, a lot of foreign corporations saw Brazil as a place, a great place to do business. Now, why was this so? I, and I can think of two big reasons for why companies wanted to come to Brazil after World War II first is Brazil's got a growing population so there are workers there to uh, staff these factories and the second thing is Brazil is a very rich country in terms of natural resources iron aluminum all the things that companies need to manufacture things can be found in Brazil so they saw this as a, a great place to come maybe pay workers a little bit less and maybe get the natural resources they needed for a little bit less so let's look at the next word and that is corporations so what is a corporation well simply as a corporation is a company it usually doesn't have one person or a family as its owner instead it has uh, investors who buy stock in that corporation and the stockholders are hoping that this corporation makes them money so some famous corporations are like General Motors and Ford Microsoft Google Facebook all right so that should give you an idea of what a corporation is we'll just think big business and then you know in the 1900s after 1930 and so on we're talking about political instability that's where governments keep changing all the time uh, corporations are a little bit leery of instability instability is usually bad for business because it can mean strikes and violence and interruptions to the supply chain and all the things that can cause corporations to lose money so let's kind of review here so World War two ends and uh, there much of the world has been devastated by the fighting in Europe and in Asia China Japan Germany France England from the war Brazil was a great place to do business uh, the battles hadn't been fought there and so you have this infrastructure that's intact and you have a lot of natural resources that companies would like to use to um, make products and sell to the world so corporations came to Brazil after World War II um, the last thing there is just going over this thing with instability again there is political instability in Brazil and that probably kept Brazil from growing as fast as it could have
because when you're switching from an elected president to a military ruler to a dictator, those are all uncertainties and corporations in the business world do not like uncertainty. So let me say that again. Corporations do not like political instability. Political instability is usually bad for business. All right, so we're going to stop there. And you can watch this video again as many times as it takes to go over the important things about Brazil's history from about 1930 to 1945.